Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dry Gremlin, and today we are playing Shank 2. Now, uh, I've had multiple attempts at recording this, I must say, uh, because I'm new to this. You know, I didn't get um, the aspect ratio right, and it was all a mess. But now I think I've fixed it. The audio is going to be a bit scratchy because I'm recording this on a NAF headset. But I'm sure you can excuse that for my first ever video on my first channel, yes. Uh, stardom here I come. Probably not. Um, yeah, let's not be idealistic. Now, the game I'm playing today is part of a new series, which I'm going to call The Demo Bin, where I look through the demos on Steam and play something until it stops me, or I die. One of those two. I'll look over all kinds of things. Like It's kind of like a first impressions thing. Um, that's how I can best describe it. Um, it's a very commonly done thing, but I think I can add my own little mark to it. Because what is innovation if it's not creative? Now, uh, today I'm playing Shank 2, which is one of the most recently released demos on Steam of this date, which I don't have a watch anywhere. Um, as you can see, it's a fighting game. Uh, there'll be a lot of shooting with the guns and a lot of punching with those big, beefy arms. Uh, yeah, it's got a very nice art style to it, I must add. Uh, it's very kind of... Idealistic. Idealistic? No. It's very creative. Uh, it's all hand-drawn. It's all sexy. Look at, look at those fine gnashes on him. I digress. Let's play the campaign. Now, for the campaign, we've got two options of difficulty. We've got normal and hard. Because I'm not for all of this, I'm going to play normal. Otherwise, you're going to see me die now. I'm going to pick options now. Heavy w oh, okay. Uh, seems like you can only pick one. Um, they've all got different stats, so they do have a use for what you can pick. But today it's just the machetes. Followed by the throwing knives and the ranged weapons, which is the only ones I can pick there. Uh, grenades. Oh, we can pick some other ones here. Now. Grenades it is. Um, I reckon we should start now. Uh, Oh, skins. Oh, you got lots of different skins, but looks good. That's good. Um, yeah, so they'll, they'll be unlocked later, presumably. Now, there must be a cutscene on the front of this, because I guess there is, I'll just stay quiet for this. Stop right there. Take my money. This is all I have. Huh? Look at this clown. Ow. <laughs> Oh, here we go. We're in the game. Now, uh, oh, right. Okay, um, so basic controls. We've got space is jump. A is left. It's WASD for this, the looks of it. Yeah, you can't use the arrows. Uh, S is to crouch. And you can do sweeping attacks. Look at that. Um, right mouse button is... Oh, hello. It seems you can fire more projectiles, depending on how long you charge it up. Yeah, uh, um, the right stick. Right stick? Right mouse button is your projectile button. Now, here we go. Right. Now, combat seems incredibly hard, but it's a side-scroller. Side so, it's basically done on simple principles. There is an objective way over to the right over here. You have to get there and kill everything in your way. Otherwise, you can't progress. Here we go, we found out what the S button does. Using the S button allows you to juggle your opponents and gives you more score by the looks of it. Um, yes it does. Right. So, they're very simple these games. Um, the setting though is delicious. Look at this atmospheric fog. It all looks beautiful, you know, the lighting, you know, doesn't affect your character. Minor, minor gripe, but uh, still. Destroys the... Now I'm assuming this is going to let you into this kind of game slowly because I can't imagine playing this game straight off the bat like I'm doing today without any having any idea of what I'm doing in it. Now 
Now this guy's got baseball, but so I imagine there's a lot more gods in the Now, um Shank 2 is a predecessor of Ah. Ah, you're a sneaky one. But no. Uh not for this video anyway. Might buy this in future, maybe. Now you see we got some story elements getting filtered into the tutorial levels nice and quickly. Uh, Magnus, the president with a heart. It sounds a bit brutal. Usually they do. Whenever it says stuff like that, it's usually a complete lie. Um, now you see, this is why we picked that heavy weapon earlier. So we got machetes. I can imagine we can do some major damage with these. Now it seems... That's another, that's another trademark of this side-scrolling, um... Of this side-scrolling type of game. You usually have multiple enemies that can only be combated in a certain way. And it seems like you get health from drinking booze, which is the only way as far as I'm concerned. Um... Now... This is where we get to use the throwing knives if we didn't discover them earlier. Now... Whoa! Ah, okay. Uh, I imagine that was our way out. Well... Okay then. Um, multiple enemies now. We've got enemies that sharpshoot you from a distance. Because your weapons have only got a certain range on them, you can't deal with them effectively, adding another level of depth. Yeah, you could write a book on this crap. Um, oh dear. Um, I'm stuck. Wait, no, I'm not. What's this? Ah, you can swing from these skull platforms by the looks of it. Seems like this guy's gonna do a special attack. Oh god, I took his head off. Oh dear. Ah, I see. Some enemies have got special attacks that do extra damage just to, just to add another level of comp... Com um, com something or learn to the mix. Complexity. A uh, nice visual indication there, when an, when an enemy is beat, he will turn, um... He'll go colourless, to indicate that you shouldn't be attacking him anymore. Uh, I wonder if I can... Oh my goodness, you can kill all the pigeons. You see, this is this should be in every game, as far as I'm concerned. Can we ambush this guy? Yes, we can. And hurt ourselves in the process. Sexy. Now you gotta prioritize in these games. Which creeps are you killing first? Alright, what's in here? Uh, oh, uh, we got special collectibles. Like in any good game. It has to be collectibles, goddammit. It's, um,. Fake content, as far as I'm concerned, it just destroys OCD. Ooh, just destroys OCD people. Extra content. Oh, I see. We got the hostage. Uh, let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay, now it seems your direction can be altered on the fly using the mouse. As you see, I'm clicking in two different directions here. Um, oh, goodness. Right, and if that wasn't enough, You've also got big guys to deal with, which is a pain in the ass all on its own. <laughs> the little cutscene. Thank you. You may need this. Oh, because he just carries a chainsaw about. Little nice audio cue there to show that some awesome's happened. Now, I wonder what the grenade button is. Could it be G? It isn't G. Is it C? R? E? Yes, it's E, it's Q, even.
Okay, uh, that's me dead. Um, I reckon we hold that there then. Um, what can we do instead? I know, we'll try the survival mode. Okay, um, so that's a quick look at Shank 2. Um, hopefully I'll have some more videos up in the future. I'm thinking of doing Skyrim, like any person. Um, I've got it on PC, so I'll be able to do lots of awesome trickery with the command console. And I hope this is the start of a brilliant love affair with YouTube and you, my dedicated fans. Uh, even though there's probably like three of you in the future. Um, all I say now is to comment, rate, subscribe, all that junk. And please, please, please stay tuned because I love each and every one of you. Okay then. Dry Gremlin out.